Have you ever wondered why some people seem to have a magic touch with money? While others struggle paycheck to paycheck, it's not luck. It's not magic. It's about knowing the rules of the game. Welcome to MoneyWise Investor, your trusted source for financial information. Today, we're diving deep into the 10 rules of money, the essential playbook for anyone serious about building wealth. These aren't just any rules. They are the battle-tested strategies used by millionaires and billionaires worldwide. And guess what? They work for anyone willing to apply them. Rule number one, wealth mindset. Let's kick things off with the foundation of all success, your mindset. Ever notice how the rich seem to think differently about money? That's because they do. They've cultivated a wealth mindset. What does that mean? It means seeing money as a tool, not a goal. It's about focusing on opportunities, not obstacles. Rich people don't just work for money. They make money work for them. Think about it. When you get a paycheck, what's your first thought? Is it about the bills you need to pay? Or is it about how you can invest and grow that money? That's the difference a wealth mindset makes. Here's a challenge for you. For the next week, every time you think about money, ask yourself, how would a wealthy person approach this? You might be surprised at how this simple shift can change your financial decisions. Rule number two, you are your most important investment. Now let's talk about the best investment you'll ever make, yourself. Yep, you heard that right. You are the most valuable asset. Think about it. What's the one thing that can never be taken away from you? Your knowledge, skills, and abilities. That's why the wealthy are always learning, always growing. Want to boost your earning potential? Learn a new skill. Want to make better financial decisions? Educate yourself about money. Want to have more energy to hustle? Take care of your health. Investing in yourself isn't just about money. It's about time and effort too. Read books, take courses, and network with successful people. Every bit of knowledge you gain is like compound interest for your brain. So ask yourself, what's one thing you can do today to invest in yourself? Maybe it's reading a finance book, or taking an online course, or even just getting a good night's sleep. Whatever it is, do it. Your future self will thank you. Rule number three, money is neutral. Money isn't good or bad, it's neutral. It's just a tool like a hammer. It can be used to build or destroy. The outcome depends on the user. Ever heard someone say, money is the root of all evil? That's a misquote. Money amplifies who you already are. If you're generous, more money will make you more generous. If you're greedy, more money will make you greedier. So how do you view money? Is it a source of stress, a measure of success, a tool for change? Your relationship with money shapes how you use it. Try this. Write down your beliefs about money, then ask yourself where these beliefs came from. Are they serving you, or are they holding you back? Remember, changing your relationship with money can change your financial reality. Rule number four, money is a game. All right, let's get real. Money is a game, and like any game, it has rules. The rich, they've just figured out how to play it better. Think about it this way. In any game, who wins? The person who understands the rules best and plays strategically, right? Same with money. What are the rules? Things like spend less than you earn, invest for the long term, use other people's money to grow your wealth. But unlike most games, everyone can't win at money. It's not about beating others. It's about beating your past self. So how are you playing with the money game? Are you sitting on the sidelines, watching others win? Or are you in the game, learning, strategizing, and improving your score every day? Remember, the best players practice every day. What's one money move you can practice today? Let us know in the comments section. Rule number five, if you hate money, you will stay broke. Let's address the elephant in the room. Do you secretly hate money? It might sound weird, but a lot of people do. They see money as dirty or as a source of greed and corruption. But here's the hard truth. If you hate money, you'll push it away. And guess what? It'll stay away. Would you want to hang around someone who hates you? Of course not. Money works the same way. So how do you change this? Start by appreciating the good that money can do. It can fund education, support charities, and create jobs. Money isn't just the problem. It's how it's used that matters. Try this. Every time you spend money this week, say thank you for what it brought you. Gratitude is the first step towards a healthier relationship with money. Rule number six, spend money on value. Ever heard of saying buy nice or buy twice? That's what we're talking about. The wealthy focus on quality over quantity. They buy things that last and appreciate in value, things that save or make them money in the long run. Let's look at it from this angle. Is it better to buy a cheap pair of shoes that wear out in a year or a quality pair that lasts five years? In the long run, the quality pair might actually cost less per wear. 
But it's not just about physical items. It's about experiences too. A course that teaches you a valuable skill. That's spending on value. A vacation that recharges you and boosts your productivity. Also value. So before your next purchase, ask yourself, is this giving me real lasting value or am I just spending money? Rule number seven, follow the money. Do you want to know where the big next opportunity is? Follow the money. This isn't about chasing get-rich-quick schemes. It's about observing trends and understanding where money is flowing in the economy. For example, notice how everyone's talking about AI these days. That's a clue. Money is flowing into AI. Or look at the shift towards renewable energy. Another money flow. But here's the thing. Don't just jump on every trend. Do your research. Understand why money is flowing in that direction. Is it a short-term fad or a long-term shift? Try this. Pick an industry you're interested in. Spend a week researching where money is flowing in that industry. You might just spot your next big opportunity. Rule number eight, model financial success. Here's a shortcut to success. Find someone who's achieved what you want and do what they did. Think about it. If you wanted to get in shape, wouldn't you look at what fit people do? Same with money. Want to be wealthy? Study wealthy people. But don't just look at what they're doing now. Look at what they did to get there. Read their biographies. Listen to their interviews. Look for the principles behind their success. And remember, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. If something works, use it. Adapt it to your situation, sure, but don't ignore proven strategies. So, who's your money role model? What can you learn from them today? Let us know in the comments section below. Rule number nine, the power of leverage. All right, let's talk about a secret weapon of the wealthy, leverage. What's leverage? It's using something small to control something big. In money terms, it's using other people's time, money, or resources to increase your own wealth. Think about a mortgage. You use a small down payment to control a whole house. That's leverage. Or consider a business owner who hires employees. They're leveraging other people's time to build their wealth. But here's something you should know. Leverage is powerful, but it's also risky. It can multiply your gains, but it can also multiply your losses. So, how can you use leverage? Maybe it's taking out a loan to invest in your education, or using a small amount of capital to start a business. The key is to use it wisely. Rule number 10, business partnerships. Last but not least, let's talk about the power of partnerships. Many of the world's biggest companies weren't built by lone wolves. They were built by partners who complemented each other's strengths. Steve Jobs had Steve Wozniak. Warren Buffett had Charlie Munger. Partnerships can bring together different skills, resources, and perspectives. But a bad partnership can be worse than no partnership at all. It's crucial to choose partners wisely. What makes a good business partner? Shared values, complementary skills, mutual respect, and clear communication are all key. So if you're considering a business partnership, ask yourself, does this person bring something to the table that I don't? Do we share the same vision? Can we communicate openly and honestly? Remember, a good partnership can multiply your chances of success, but choose carefully. Your choice of a partner could make or break your venture. So, what's your next move? Which of these rules resonated with you the most? Maybe it's changing your mindset about money, or perhaps it's starting to invest in yourself. Whatever it is, don't just think about it, take action. Remember, financial success isn't about luck. It's about strategy, discipline, and consistent effort. It's about playing the long game. If this video has given you value, don't keep it to yourself. Share it with someone who could benefit from these rules. Hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications. We're on a mission to help as many people as possible achieve financial freedom. And we'd love for you to be part of that journey. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay money wise.